Praise the Lord everyone out there. I again welcome you to this series of Understanding Yourself as a Teenager or as a Youth. In the previous episodes, we looked at the different growth patterns and we started with the physical development. And so today, let us focus on the next stage, which is the intellectual development. This means the growth of one's ability to think and reason. It's about how they organize their minds, ideas and thoughts to make sense of the world they live in. Here, you develop the ability to start thinking in an abstract way and to tackle more challenging questions of life. We start getting tension due to our academic performance. We fear to fail. And in fact, the fear to fail is what causes us to fail. Don't fear to fail. At this level of growth, there is much adventure in search for answers that seem unanswered or not satisfying. And during this search, we end up engaging in a lot of family, school systems, churches, televisions, peer groups, among others. But it is very important to be mindful of what you feed your eyes with or what you watch. Be careful not to be influenced wrongly. How much do you think about your future and self-development compared to short-time fun that may not be of value to you? While home, do you think of saving and investing? Do you give attention to who you will be five or ten years ahead? What have you done about it? Let's open the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 52, and I read it from the NIV. It says, And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature, and favor with God and man. Now, the Bible tells us that Jesus grew in wisdom. That does not mean body size, but rather the intellect, the mind of Jesus grew. As a youth, we need to allow our intellect to grow and stop doing things like children. There should be a point in life where by you start focusing on bigger things and stop acting like a baby. You want to be spoon-fed all the time, yet physically you are growing. Take that bold step and start doing things without fear and even when you fail in something you don't have to worry because a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step you cannot develop a serving culture revising culture etc when you are just being pushed you need to up your game to a level that you know what is good for you and what isn't right for you. Stop doing things to please people, but rather do what is right and do it in the right way. The way you approach situations in life and circumstances show your level of intellectual growth. It's not obvious that you must always respond to everything some things are not meant for you to respond to as i conclude on this like solomon asked for wisdom and knowledge from god in second chronicles chapter 1 verse 10 and 11 i implore each of you as we grow and go through these different stages of growth let us always ask for wisdom and knowledge from the lord and it shall be done unto us. Learn to think for yourself and always think positively. Do not just watch this series, friends. 
because there are many more teachings coming up soon. Just subscribe to our YouTube channels and Facebook for more. God bless you and we love you so much.